what is going on here? <laughs> All right, we're gonna be doing ourselves a little live shave. I did tag just a few people. Um, gonna be using uh, soap that Marion sent me. Let me grab this little painter's tape that he used. He gave it to me in this little uh, tiny jar here. It's kind of uh, just like a little Tupperware, you know what I'm saying? And he put this painter's tape to keep it shut, and it says K Shave Works, Hazlitt's Apothecary, and then NYML, which I guess stands for Not Your Mother's Lavender. Um, so it's funny though, because when I looked at the scent notes, I didn't see lavender whatsoever. So Not Your Mother's Lavender is kind of a weird name for it. Um, so that's, yeah, that's what we're going to be using. What's up, Seth? Thanks for joining. We're going to be using this little sample that Marion sent along. Looks like some crack rock in here. Uh, <laughs> but it smells pretty fucking good. So it's K Shave Works Hazlitz Apothecary. It's like clean, fresh. Um, I mentioned in my mail call that it kind of smelled like um, laundry detergent or, or fabric softener. It... It's real nice, it's real pleasant, clean, fresh lavender. But yeah, this little container, looks like Marion sent some crack rock along, so hopefully I don't get hooked. <laughs> oh, there he is, what's up Marion, what's going on? So I did write it down. The scent notes were ginger, black pepper, uh, ylang blossom, spicy florals, gardenia, jasmine, orchid, clove bud, patchouli, amber, balsam, vanilla, musk, and sandalwood. So no lavender in the scent notes, but that's all right. Got myself a little drink here, some Sam Smith's uh, oatmeal stout. It's a good one. What's up, Ray? What's up, Marion? So we're gonna crack into that, give it a go. Mm-hmm. It's an old favorite of mine. Um real good shit you can actually see the dude in the old um brewing pots right there whipping it up kind of cool all right i got the 3d printed bowl which was a gift from marion i am bowl blooming so you can see it's already wet inside um just give it a little whisk i think what i'm gonna do is have myself a menthol shave as well so I got the good old menth dealer here, the cold pole, the chill, bougie chill mill. Let's go ahead and add a shit ton of menthol. Might as well. Looks good to me. <laughs> I fucking love that uh that bougie chill mill. That shit works great. Alright. And then let me grab the brush and we'll get to going. So we got our Lancaster Razor Works uh, bougie brush bath right there with the bullseye brush works inside. Yeah, Seth. Yeah, they have a good winter warmer. Their whole line is really a bunch of crowd pleasers. Like their pale ale's nice. Their um, chocolate stout's nice. They have a real good lineup, so... All right, we got the Bullseye Brushworks right there. And then it's just this nice dark purple color scheme with the Viking Soaps um, Odin's Beard Knot Badger Knot on top. So let's get to lathering. What's everybody doing this Saturday? I'm going to go to my dad's and watch the UFC fights later on so that should be pretty fucking fun thanks marion yeah i didn't go um i didn't go too wild or off the wall on this brush i just kind of kept it simple i wanted a dark purple brush for a long time and so i basically asked mark for a dark purple brush worked out good for me Did Joey join? I did not see him. I did not see him hop in. It's raining in Cal, so just staying inside. Well, that sucks. 
Uh, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully you can find some shit to uh, keep you entertained while you're indoors. It's a pretty nice day out here. It's sunny. It's a bit cold, but it's it's sunny, so I'll take it. Cousin has a birthday, so he's gonna be gonna do a little gambling tonight. Nice. Well, good luck. Best of luck. Hopefully, you come home with some winnings. John, what's going on, buddy? Thanks for joining. I'm just whipping up some lather right here. Definitely looks like it's whipping up into kind of a uh, high structure lather. I see a lot of soap forming. One thing about the uh, this 3D printed bowl is it kind of has like these high ridges. And so I always find that it's kind of hard to get the soap out of those... Uh, large ridges even when I do the uh, the bowl blooming and kind of have some water sitting over the top of it um, for a couple minutes to soften it up I still find that the soap just kind of gets stuck in those ridges and I don't know as a bowl lather that's one of the things that just irritates the hell out of me is um is getting that fucking soap out of all the ridges <laughs> I don't like when I'm cleaning my equipment at the end and I find like a whole bunch of leftover soap. Kind of irritates me. What's going on, Justin? I'm just whipping up some lather and it looks like we got a shit ton of it. So we will move on to the shaving portion. <clears throat> like I said, I'm just going to go to my, uh, my dad's house later. I think he's going to do like a nacho bar and like just finger foods type deal and we're gonna watch the UFC fights so that should be fun probably have some drinks I of course I'm gonna have somebody driving me <laughs> I think I'll have a buddy or a family member maybe the wife drive me because I ain't doing that shit again <clears throat> Ray says he fills the bowl with water and waits for it to dissolve Okay. Are you talking about like bowl blooming? Or what are you talking about? Mmm. Are you talking about waiting for the uh, soap, the leftover soap to dissolve when you're in the uh, cleaning process? I think that's what you're talking about. Yeah, I usually just, I'll clean it and then I'll like grab my brush, whip the rest of it up into lather, and then rinse it out. I just don't like it being left over because then it interferes with my next my next soap scent and it's kind of it's kind of a pain in the ass. Um, when you're trying to enjoy one scent and the left behind soap kind of creeps in. I do think this is K Shave Works old soap formula. Because now they primarily do a tallow base, I believe. So I do think this um, vegan base of theirs is their old soap formula. And it is reminiscent of their old soap formula. I haven't tried their old soap formula in a long time. But when I first started wet shaving, I got a scent of theirs called Bumble Nuts. <laughs> and uh, it was kind of like a honey and milk type scent really pleasant but is that high structure somewhat low density lather this smells real nice though it smells real good i can feel that menthol kicking in already i got this little gold dollar cheap sheath but i got marion's uh the razor that marion sent to me it has doug bear's edge on it and this little razor has a shit ton of character what's up uh junior what's up david yeah, this little tiny razor, never heard of the company before, uh, Nystrom, has a lot of character to it. It's a tiny little thing, but it has a barber's notch up top. It's uh, pretty hollow, has a little design on the face there. I kind of like how it, it almost looks like a frame back because of the uh, nature of how hollow it is and then how it kind of transitions along the tang into the spine. I don't know. I just think this little razor has a ton of character to it and I like it. 
<clears throat> yeah, I agree, uh, Junior. It is it is a very good looking razor. So I got the. Uh, let me just put the razor down. I got the Money Pass Straight Razor Mafia shirt on. So you know it's time for a straight razor shave. Let's get into it. This will also be the most uh, hollow razor that I've came across. That's kind of how it ended up uh, at my house, was that me and Marion were talking in the chat rooms. And I told him that I haven't really tried a straight razor that was super wedgy, and I haven't really tried a straight razor that was hollow. I just kind of, I've tried a lot of stuff in the middle. And so I asked him, or actually he offered me if I wanted to uh, borrow this and give it a go. And of course I was all over it, so. <clears throat> So far, so good. Feels pretty smooth. I know, uh, I know good old Doug was telling me, he was like, hey, that's not, not, not the best edge I've put on a razor, you know, so keep that in mind. But I told him, honestly, most edges work for me. Shouldn't be a problem. And it does feel pretty comfortable. I know... Um, Maddie Lindholm also took a crack at it, and Doug said he put a nice edge on this thing, but, uh, he said he kind of felt guilty about putting his own edge on top of Maddie's edge, because Maddie did such a good job, and I believe it. Hey, Ryan, thanks for joining. Let's see, I think I missed some. Extra hollows are great, but the larger 8 8 or 12 8 extra hollow is phenomenal. Hmm. This one's rather small. I think it's probably like 9 16 or 5 8 Marion probably knows the exact um, dimensions. But, yeah, so far, feeling nice. Five-eighths? Yeah. That's what I figured. I never write anything down, so I'm always just, like, guessing. <laughs> but, yeah, very nice. And the jimps underneath, they're pretty pronounced. They're actually, they give good, good grip. So, so far, so good. The K-shave works, even though it's a, uh kind of soap of old has the old vegan base kind of the old soap mentality where it was like Santa Santa Claus beard still plenty slick enough I've never had a problem with K-Shave Works and the scent is very enjoyable kind of reminds me of fabric softener like I was saying <clears throat> what's up Alexander thank you for joining let's go ahead and whip up this second pass here <clears throat> hey, since I have a small group here, is anybody going to hop in a chat room uh, later? I have a little bit of time on my hands. I would be down to jump in a chat room for a while. Plenty of fucking lather. Obviously, it's that kind of low density Santa Claus beard type shit but still slick so that's all that really matters I want to keep that menthol lather out of my eyes though JR says he's down for a chat tonight he's got the day off tomorrow that's what's up Maybe we can uh, get a cigar and some beers going. 
Marion says he has a little time on his hands. All right, there we go. And a chat room is in the works. <clears throat> Not going to try too hard with that lather because honestly, it doesn't matter to me. <clears throat> Let's get this against the grain going. So far, I only have like one day's growth, maybe less than 24 hours. So I'm not hearing a ton of feedback, which is really what I was hoping for. But I will revisit. I will revisit the razor when I have a little bit more growth. And we'll see how it is then. It does feel nice, though. It does feel pretty smooth. Hey, what's going on, Andre? Those new bowls that you... that you showed looked really nice. I think that colorway is going to be pretty popular. That kind of 90s color scheme. It was very fun. Yeah. I know Doug was a little bit worried about this edge, but shit, for my beard? Fucking smooth. It's working great for me. <clears throat> Marion says it's a very silent extra hollow. It's a bit odd. Yeah, um, I'm not familiar with extra hollow blades. Like I said, this is kind of the most hollow straight razor I've ever used. But I've definitely heard, you know, that hollow razors sing to you and give a lot of feedback. Today I don't have a ton of growth, like I was saying, but I was still kind of expecting a little bit more feedback. You can see I kind of line up the beard first and then I take a longer stroke. I do like little choppy motions and then I follow through with a full swing. Works well for me. Alright. Shit. With the grain and against the grain in the books. I don't know, maybe if I was doing a full face shave, I would incorporate a three pass shave, but two passes just does it for me. That third pass kind of seems irrelevant. I don't get any extra irritation by going against the grain as my second pass. So it just works for me. Two passes is how I do it. One with, one against. Works good for me. That was a very comfortable shave as well. Good old K-Shave works. Did the job. I will say I do like their new uh, tallow soap base better than their old tallow soap base. But that's kind of the nature of having a new formula is finding areas to improve. I just find it to be better kind of in every aspect. Oh, Marion says he does... Two passes as well with a touch up on the neck, and the neck is spelt with a K, so you know he's a redneck. <laughs> <clears throat> now nah, I'm just fucking with you, Marion. I do appreciate you letting me borrow that uh, that straight razor, though. I'm gonna get a few more shaves with it before I send it back to you. I've actually been somewhat decent with <laughs> with uh, shipping stuff off. If anybody knows me, I'm pretty notorious for not getting things in the mail in a timely manner. <laughs> but I've actually got a pretty good record as of late, so that's good. At least there's a little glisten of hope that I'll get it back to you. What's going on, Brom? How you doing, buddy? 
See you later, Justin. I hope you have a good uh, weekend, brother. I don't have the matching post shave product, but I have another lavender type aftershave, so that's what I'll be using. Probably throw a touch of menthol in that as well. That uh, menth dealer gave me a pretty nice, nice little bit of uh, cooling there. So this is what I'm going to be using, the Declaration Grooming slash Chatelon Luxe Chomps de Lavande. Good stuff. This one actually is a lavender, unlike um, the K-Shave Works Hazlitz Apothecary I just used. That actually didn't have lavender in it, although it's a lavender scent. Um, but yeah, so let's, let's see, what am I going to do? I'll throw some Terrorade in with it. Terrorade's not necessarily cooling, but it does have its own effect. <clears throat> so I'll just get the cap off both. That way I have uh, my hands free. Here we go. A little bit of Terrorade. You wonder why I put so much Terrorade? It's because I don't think it works very well. <laughs> now I'll put a little bit of uh, aftershave here and we will get right into it. What's going on, Doug? Hell yeah. Chomps de Levon smells pretty fucking good. I don't know if you guys are into lavender scents. Um, I've kind of found very few that I that I love. Most of them, I'm just kind of like, that's nice, you know. But Chomps de Levand and this Hazlitt's Apothecary, they're both pretty good for me. So, well, that'll pretty much do it. Like I said, if you guys want to jump into a chat room, I'm fucking down. Um, <clears throat> Let me know, hit me up, or just tag me when you open one. But that'll do it for me. Thanks everybody for joining. <clears throat> and I guess I'll catch you on the next one. Alright, cheers guys.